help me market, please. What we do is not cold calling, just so we're on the same page, because I've heard from multiple people, cold call, cold call, cold call. We don't cold call. We don't, a cold call is a soliciting, meaning you get a list and they they all know who you are. Now, 90% of our people just click a button and they're like, eh, they're never gonna call me. And they call me like, who are you? So they're giving us permission legally and morally to call them. They're giving us their phone name or email. So your job is to kind of figure out how to get past that resistance like we were talking on the voicemails. Like it's not all about text, it's not all about voicemail. So it's cold call. So I, I as I've been digging and digging and digging, so it's just tweaking one or two words to get someone to call you. And this is kind of in line with what we're gonna do, but I'm just gonna read from this real quick because I don't, I didn't memorize every single thing that I wrote down. Um, so there was a restaurant owner. Um, they were having a lot of people that weren't showing up for reservations. Um, they were having a lot of people that booked reservations, but they weren't showing up. Just like you guys, booking appointments, not showing up. People were saying, I'm gonna call, they never showed up. Um, so we got with the receptionist and they tweaked one or two words and it says something like this. If you're not gonna make your 6.30 reservation, will you please let me know? It was, it was a question, it was a question. Because what are you gonna do as a, as a, you're trained and you're wired to always wanna help someone or you're, you're actually wired to not let somebody down. Regardless of people, we know people really don't care about other people right now, but you're wired not to let someone else down as much as you might not think it. So by them saying, if you're not gonna show up to my reservation at 6.30 that you booked, will you please let me know? So what do you think they said? Yes. The reason they tweaked that is because they gave him a yes. So, person says yes, you are actually hardwired where you're going to do something that you said you're gonna do because you don't wanna disappoint that person. You don't wanna tell that person no. Are you gonna actually, can you please let me know if you're not gonna make your appointment with me at 12 o'clock on Saturday? Yes, okay. So if they're not gonna do it, they will call you. That one tweak for that receptionist, instead of just taking the reservation, rose their callouts, and they had an 85 to 95 percent reservation rate right away. So if you ever go to a fancy restaurant or you go somewhere out, and they they do this now, this is one of the biggest things for restaurants because they don't want you to just call out and not show up. But it will raise your 85 to 95 percent in the restaurant business. So when you're booking your appointments and you're booking your calls, hey. Would you mind if I follow up with you tomorrow? Um, I know you were here yesterday. Would you mind if I follow up with you tomorrow about 12 o'clock? Yes. Okay, great. Put in your DX1 system, follow up with them at 12 o'clock. Not at one o'clock, 12 o'clock. Because that's what time you said. And they already gave you yes. They led you to your next call, okay? So things like your hot tub. So I know your time is valuable. You submit a request from a hot tub. Do you have two minutes to talk? Yes, okay, they gave you permission. You wanna start leading the horse to water. Your goal is to get more open rates, to get more calls, to get more voicemails, because I hear from all of you guys, like voicemail, 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 voicemail. They didn't pick up the phone, they pick up the phone. It's because we're doing the same thing that everyone else is doing. And you get 100 calls a day. So if you're booking an appointment, say something like that. Try to get them to commit to you because they do not want to let you down. Even though you're a salesperson, they don't want to let you down and they will call you. Then you know you don't have to book another appointment to some, someone else. Now, granted, we're not booking calls and we're not booking like 65 calls a day, but still, if you can get two appointments to actually not cancel on you, to actually come into the dealership for you to call, you're gonna increase your close rate dramatically. Help me market, please.